I wasn't trying to feel like this I wasn't trying to feel nothing at all I just came to meet my friends and Try to drink a long we go What's going on guys? Derek here for another guitar tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Catch by Brett Young. So let's jump into it. The song is in the key of D. So you're going to be in standard tuning with the capo on the second fret. In the acoustic video that he's playing online, he's actually playing it a half step lower. So you would just capo on the first fret if you wanted to play it in that key. 78 beats per minute if you want to practice with a metronome. So getting into the chords, the chords in this song are going to be a C, C major. And you're actually going to play this chord two different ways. One is this way, the second is like this. So really the only thing you're doing is you're playing that C, but you're adding that top string. And I'd play that like this. The second chord is gonna be a G over B. They actually don't use the pinky, um, so it just looks like this. Um, the third chord is gonna be an A minor seven. And there's also an A minor, a normal A minor in it. And an A minor seven is just lifting off that uh, ring finger. There is an F, um, and I don't bar it like this, I play it like this. And there's also an F sus2, I believe that's an F sus2. Um, basically you just lift up your middle finger for that F. There's an E minor, and there's a D minor. Those are the chords in the song. Um, the first verse is going to start out on the C, and it's going to go to that G over B then to the A minor 7, and then to the F. And the strum pattern for that will sound like this. Basically what you're doing is you start out on that C and you're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. For each chord. And for most of the song too, um, they do an F where the second half of it, you lift up that middle finger. They really do that through um, throughout most of the song. So that's the strum pattern for the verse. With words, it would sound like this. I wasn't trying to feel like this. I wasn't trying to feel nothing at all. I just came to meet my friends and try to drink a long week off. I didn't want to stay too late. I wasn't trying to close it down. I was doing my own. Then you're into the chorus. So the chorus is going to start out on that different variation of C. Then you're going to go to the E minor. Then you're going to go to the normal A minor. And then to that F again. And so the strumming pattern for the chorus is a little more difficult. Um, it has kind of a quick... A 16th note type thing in it. It's going to start out on that C and it'll sound something like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm starting on the C and it's down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. The second part, the second half of that is. You're doing a very quick down, down, up, down. So you 
kind of do that before every transition um, in the chord. You could do the same strumming pattern as you did in the um, the verse, but if that's too hard, just you know, slow it down. It does take time. You know, I'm not doing huge strums when I do that. I'm doing very small strums. So. <laughs> Practice it if you want. If you can do it, um, it definitely will improve your playing. But if it's too hard, just just do the normal strumming pattern. So with words, that'll sound like this. Catch a bus, catch a game, catch up with the boys, the same old thing. Catch a cab back to my place, but then I saw your face. Now you got me trying to catch a ride, catch a name, catch a spark, start a flame. You smile, I can't help myself. Ooh, you got me trying to catch my breath. One thing too, at the end of the choruses, they do kind of a muted thing, so it sounds something like this. Way you smile, I can't help myself. Ooh, you got me trying to catch my breath. You're kind of doing the same strumming pattern, but you're just muting the very end of that F chord. Um, and then going into that C. So that is the first verse and second and first chorus. The second verse is almost exactly the same. The only difference is at the end, you're gonna do all down strums on the F. So it sounds like this. You got me doing double takes. You waited missed up all my plans. I only meant to hold this string. Don't try and hold your way. I thought that I could. And then you go into the um, into the chorus. The second chorus is the same as the um, the first chorus, but the difference is coming out of it. You're gonna go into the bridge, and the bridge um, starts out on the E minor and um, goes to the F, goes back to the E minor and then goes to a D minor. So the strum pattern will sound something like this. You got me catching feelings. I wasn't even trying to feel this. I don't know how you started stealing my heart like you are in this ball. But I'm glad that you are because I just thought that I'd catch a buzz. And then you're into the final chorus. The final chorus is played the same as the first two choruses, but in the beginning, they kind of palm mute it and then open it up in the second half of the chorus. So coming out of the bridge, it'll sound like this. Cause I just thought that I'd catch a buzz, catch a game, catch up with the boys, the same old thing, catch a cab back to my place, but then I saw your face, now you got me trying to catch your life, catch your name. And then you just repeat that chorus pattern um, that we went over earlier. Thanks for watching the video. If there's any other Brett Young songs that you guys wanna learn, please put them in the comment section below and I will try and get to them. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.